Welcome back to the channel, my people. We are doing a night run. I hope you saw yesterday's video. We got some cool slot cars and low riders, more low riders. So cool, so cool. I should ask one of those store managers if they could just order me a case. I was thinking about that earlier. I'm like, man, why didn't I just tell, the guy was like, oh, I ordered some. I said, oh yeah, you should order more. They would fly off the shelf. So I should have told the guy, dude, can you order me a case? Wow, people got all the trucks they are gone the only thing left is this junk set that nobody wants and someone grabbed well i don't know i don't remember oh that was the econo line there's that there's the Datsun. those are the only ones i remember so i don't remember somebody got something though dang top shelf is stacked with etbs Wonder how many people miss those. Alrighty, folks, we got a pallet and I see nothing. I don't see anything on there. Anything that I want. Good size pallet though. Maybe another one's gonna come out next. We will see. Alright guys, so the M2 machines were the big hit from this store. Let's try number store two. Store number two. I'm telling you, it's looking like we're probably gonna crack the F cases in this video. I'm not seeing much out big here. Surprise. Oh man. Crazy. 71 Camaro. So yeah, we got some kits probably sold. And no Hot Wheels at all. Well, I guess there's just not much going on right now at the old Wally. Not a big deal. Uh, I just wanted to show our finds from yesterday. Uh, if you didn't see the video, we did pretty good, honestly, considering uh, we just walked up on a fresh F case. We did see the Johnny Lightning Zinger Silverado Fleet Side. These things are so great, man. Uh, this one has a little bit of a card issue. This one has a smaller bit of a card issue. Um, but, you know, even on display, you don't, you, you don't really see it. So it's not awful. Uh, maybe I'm going to open one, honestly. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know. I do love the Zingers. And uh, it's a fleet side. It's a Silverado, square body. Super and nice. we have our Legends of the Quarter Mile electric slot car on the Snake Prudhomme. Uh, we did get two of those. Uh, I didn't notice until after I bought it, there's a little issue on the blister. It's because of how they arrived to the stores in those large bins. Here is Tom, the Mongoose McEwen. Legends of the Quarter Mile. So yeah, I guess, I don't know how many are in this set. We did see three cars total. I didn't get them all. I left the non-Hot Wheels related one, obviously with the Hot Wheels livery. Uh, this is something I really like. I did find out, unfortunately, our buddy, our fellow community member, he is looking for the Mongoose, unfortunately. I was so hoping it was the Prudhomme one, and he had said he had the Mongoose, but no, it was the other way around. This one is what he's looking for. But I'm going to keep my eye out. You never know. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on those couple of stores there, and maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. So here's our 63 Chevy Impala California Lowriders. Very cool. Uh, I don't know why I didn't like it the first time I saw it. I'm sure I saw it before. I think it was because I saw that. And then I saw that and I'm like, oh, I want that. I want that. There is no that. That's just art. And uh, our 64 Impala known as the Gypsy Rose next to our 63 and there is some slight differences. The bumpers are a little different. I guess that's it. Maybe a, a little, no, I guess that's it. It looks like the front ends are pretty much the same from what I can see. Yeah, maybe a little different uh, front grille there on the hood. Anyway, not a big deal. Pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. I I'm excited to have them. The 63 and the 64. Here is our Caprice, which, yeah, it's cool. I just got it because it's part of the set, but I so regret not getting that black one, man. That black one was so cool with the pinstriping, and uh, I, I don't know. 
this this one's like a completely different color i don't know how i screwed that up but no big deal maybe we'll see him again and we also have our trick f case uh code fmq i've never even seen that code before two mains in the bottom that's right two mains only one silverado in the entire box and there is our jeep the jeep is in awesome condition it's just a really nice card so very happy to finally have a good jeep i mean i've got a couple but they're it's such a large blister i'm seeing where they're getting squished in a little bit and then obviously because the car is in the corner of the box the ends are getting destroyed the bottom where the box is getting like taking a hit right on where that jeep is so congratulations again to lincoln and blake you guys I have your package here ready to go. I just have to slap a label on it. I'm going to head to the post office today and get this out to you. There is a special little mystery Mario Kart box gift in here. Please open it. Enjoy it. It's a really cool one. It was one of my favorite ones out of the entire set. It was my personal one in my personal collection. I want you to have it, Lincoln. So, yeah, I'm going to run to the post office. Um, hmm... We got some F cases here. What do you think, guys? Think we should crack them? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get the disappointment over with. Uh, I'm gonna do the ND first because I don't think I've opened a B yet. I think they've all been A's and D's and FMQ's. So uh, let me pull this one out and we'll start The there. B is the one with the double tape. That has been good luck before. That doesn't mean it's going to be this time. I'm expecting nothing, guys. Uh, I've been putting this off only because I I just don't want the disappointment. But whatever, we're going to do it today. Let's just get it over with. This way I can get these cars back to the shelves and collectors can get them. Because I don't need most of these. But... That being said, I actually, I have an idea. I made an order yesterday. I have the Florida Man YouTube t-shirts coming in. They are really cool shirts, very simple, very clean. I think everyone will like them. I'm thinking that anybody who buys a shirt I could take the cars from this case and put them in your order. So you buy the t-shirt and with that t-shirt, you get Hot Wheels from this case. I'll put two cars, I could, you guys tell me if this sounds good. I could put two cars from these cases in your order. If it's a fantasy, I'll make sure you get both a fantasy and a licensed car, a real car. You'll, you'll get, I won't take anything out of here unless there's a soup, unless there's a soup. If there's a soup or I'm taking the soup. But other than the soup, I'll, t I'll leave everything in here, the treasure hunts, the civics, and, and I'll just put them into the t-shirt order. So uh, if that sounds like something you guys would like, let me know. Otherwise, these are going back and I'm gonna put them on the pegs for other collectors. But if you guys want them and you're gonna buy a t-shirt, I will put these cars in those boxes for you to have with your shirt. I'm expecting the shirts to be here, I don't know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. So uh, keep it in mind. If it's something that you think is a good idea, I'll do that. I will just take these cars and just randomly every order. As the order comes in, car, car, just go right down the line. Like I said, fantasy and a licensed car. I, I won't just give you two fantasies. I wouldn't do that to And anybody. we're gonna do a cool promotion. So I have some premiums from an old Fast and Furious set uh, they are the black GNX and, uh, I won't, not in this video, but when the shirts come in, I'll show you. I'm going to sprinkle those into the order. So let's say I have five of them. Uh, there's only 40 shirts. So this is just a trial run. See how this goes. Let's say there's five of those premiums. So you'll get two of the cars from these cases, and then I'll sprinkle five of those premiums as a surprise into some of the orders. So, uh, it'll just be random. There won't be any rhyme or reason to it. Before even reading the label, I will pick the car for the order to go with the shirt. So uh, it's going to be all random. You guys let me know in the comments if you, if you like that. Otherwise, they're going back. All right, all right, all right. So FND, FNB. Here we go, guys. Let's, let's do it. Let's crack them. Let's see what we got. 
I did notice that that ends in N1, where this one ends in N2. So again, I who knows what that means, if anything. Here we... Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. What do we have in our fresh FND? Oh, there's a Civic at the top. Oh, darn it. And the Jeep is in a weird spot. The thing is way moved over. Oh, man. All right, well, there's the C8. Lay and low rider, McLaren and the gasser. There's a car missing. There's a car missing. We have to count these. One, two, three. There is a car missing. What is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five. That's only seventy. Wow, there. This is weird, man. I actually paid. All right, so they they charge me for these cases sealed, and it's missing a car. Was this the case that had the soup and they stole it out of the factory? I, 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 um, anyway, there's the C8, another C8. There's another C8 right here. Like we said, the mains, um, there's the Jeep right there. One Silverado on the top. Let's check the bottom and see. I doubt there's an extra car down there. I, I, dude. Dude, dude. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I see what happened. All right, we're good. We're good. False alarm, false alarm, everybody. I see what happened. The little Ducati came down out of the top section and slid into the bottom. Okay. All right, I feel better. I thought we got soup stolen from the factory. It happens, guys. They steal them from the factory. Uh, I think they produce their own. That's why you see like loose ones on eBay for $100 in some plastic bag because they just made it themselves. They took the extra materials that they had left over and they just made more than Mattel even knew. And I said that to the guy at the Legends Tour. His eyes got huge. I don't think they even considered that. And he looked at me and he just, yeah, he, he, he the next thing I know, like, it's a few minutes later, I look down, and he's over on the phone calling somebody. So, fingers crossed, I put the right thought in the right person's head, and we start seeing some changes on this theft soup market. Okay, of course, no super treasure hunt. Silverados, Toon Silverados, Liberty Walk, Miata. There's so many cool cars. Here's the Black Porsche. Somebody was looking for that. I just got that message. There's your Porsche, buddy, right? Yeah, it's there, trust me. I don't know what's so going yeah, on. Yeah, you guys let me know. Uh, return these or keep them and do the thing with the shirt order. Just start slamming cars in those orders and you guys can get Hot Wheels and a really cool shirt. Like, I can't wait to show you. It's so cool. Here we go, FNB 0072N1, double tape. Ooh, the double tapes. There we go. All right, guys, let's get our hearts broken again here. Another heartbreaking F case. On three, two. That stupid Latroka every time with that gold, man. And once again, it's a main at the top. 
Yep, so there's the main, there's the Jeep. Uh, let's see what else we got. The Bel Air, the Repu. There's a Proto, these darn Latrocas, man. I, I can't believe there's two in here. I don't remember seeing two Latrocas. There's our C8. Uh, S2K, another Proto next to the other Proto. Big Bel Air, Toon Sylvie, Miata, Mercedes, and two Latrocas. There's a Barbie, 86. Oh yeah, the Aston Martin is in there, so that'll be cool. The K truck would be cool. Here's another C8. All right, disappointment. We are down to one side of this case with the main right there. Whatever. And disappointment in three, two, one. Yep, this is why I just didn't even care to open them. All right, I'm over it. I know I'm not gonna get that uh, soup, so whatever. There's the Porsche, uh, Silverados. Anyway, yeah, I'm done. I am done. Cool. Leave it in the comments if uh, anybody who plans to buy a t-shirt to help support the Florida man and the channel to keep this channel moving along and fuel in the truck to keep doing all these hunts. You guys leave a comment and let me know if you like my idea. Otherwise, they're going back. All right, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, no big deal. Let's head to the post office. Maybe I'll make a stop or two today. Uh, it's probably gonna be a short video today, guys, honestly. There's not much going on around here, obviously, as we've seen in the the night runs, there's nothing at the Wally, so yeah. Uh, okay, on a side note, it's a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. Didn't didn't see that. Uh, yeah. Wow. You guys know I like them old Mopars, man. That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my mind off those stupid cases. Anyway, and the Plymouth Duster. Wow, I didn't even know they were Mopar. Oh, I noticed what happened. Check it out. So somehow they were stacked on top of each other in a way that this little extra lip right here put some pressure, see? It lines right up with that. Wow, that's weird. I've actually never seen that before. They usually are in cases like this, so it's, it's impossible for that to happen.